Well, the useful point picked up at Auxerre in the first match. Gak of Graz had set themselves up ideally in Group F. Next up came a home tie with the Polish team Amika Ronki at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Stadium. The first ever meeting between Austrian and Polish clubs in this competition. Back in the uh, red here. It was they who threatened earliest. Bieniuk with the clearance. 26 minutes gone and it was Amika who found space down the left-hand side. Really good low ball in, wasn't it? And not a bad finish either from Jacek Dembinski. A goal that stunned Graz here, but beautifully taken. Dembinski still going strong at the age of 35, scoring his eighth of the season. Amika had their best chance to find another goal that would have had Gak in further trouble before the break, but the quick counter-attack resulted in an equaliser. Within five minutes of that goal from Dembinski, it was Ronald Coleman here. Just getting there first. Then Badzina here down the left-hand side, ably supported by Ammerhauser. Stud cross to the far side and nodded over. As Gak found the momentum in the closing stages of the first half. Pat would be uh, resumed really after the break. Calamitous defending. Malarts, the Amica keeper, had his blushes spared there. At the other end, though, they were scrapping and desperately trying to oh, guard the goal. Domestically, Amika had won three in a row, but lost against Chessin at the weekend, and they might be just on the cusp of a dip. Eight points behind Fisler Krakow in the Polish Championship, the same points margin that Graz trail Rapid Vienna by. That in the Austrian Bundesliga. Tokic lifted it forward. And then the foul as Malarts came streaking out. Could only be one outcome. It was a penalty kick. Bazina, who is a really industrious figure on the left for Gag. He won the penalty. Coleman scored it for 2-1. His second of the night, the Austrian international. Their top scorer last season with a mighty 27. That took his tally up to 11 for this campaign. Amika didn't give up though. It was squared for a speculative effort from Dudka. But then with 20 minutes to go, points were sealed. It was very patient here from Gak and played down the line. Ramuj got it in, and uh, not for the first time. Ronald Coleman, the beneficiary of some really dubious, strong key defending. Again, it was the quick break down the flank. It was Stanfest this time down the right-hand side who got it in. And look how many touches Coleman was afforded there. Up to 12 for the season then. Graz just out-muscled in the middle of the park, but some really profligate finishing. Barczak there, going for the effort when he had a man in space to his left. Grzybowski. Ten minutes from time. Gak pushing forward. Could have had another goal, it was set up ideally for the shot. Coming in from the edge of the area from Skoro, but three had to be enough for Graz in the end. And Ronki, after losing their first game 5-0 against Rangers, in real trouble.